Hello everybody, this is Linda Israel and today I want to show you how I made these little flowers using the Cricut with the Pagoda Passion Dye and putting Hershey's Kisses, Adirondack Spray and a little bit of tissue paper with some bamboo skewers so that I could make an arrangement. This is going to be a birthday present for my mother. The first thing that I did was I cut out three different colors of flowers from the Pagoda Passion cartridge. This is at 2.95 inches and when I did this on a 12 by 6 sheet of paper I ended up with eight blossoms. The next thing that I did was I laid them out in my box that I sprayed things in and I sprayed them with the Adirondack color wash spray wild plum I'm putting on some gloves because this is where it gets messy and I just spray these lightly it doesn't take much to spray them and then I have my own version of glimmer mist I use acrylic floor wax and a little bit of Perlex so all I'm doing is just spraying this on top and it'll give it a nice shimmer to it. I'll probably just spray just a little bit on there. And while these are still wet, I'm going to mash them together just a little bit and then I will crumple them up just a little bit. And I'll pick this one up and crumple it up as well. And then I will leave these to dry. Now if I'm in a hurry, I can use my heat gun to dry them. I already have some dried, so I'll just move to that step. Set these aside. So here are some that I already have dried. You can see how they're nice and crumpled. If you want them a little bit more crumpled you can manipulate those the next thing I do is I use a heat gun and I put just a little bit of glue in the center and then I put them a little offset from each other and glue these together like so and then I'm using a bamboo boo skewer to place these into a vase. So what I want to do now is get this ready so that this will attach. There are many fancy ways to do this. This is just the way I did it with the materials that I had. I cut a square of tissue paper. I believe this one is a roughly about five inches square. And all I did was poke a hole in the center crumpled it up just a little bit and put a little bit of glue on here and crumpled it around it. Then I put a little bit more glue and took my flower and stuck it to the back side and took this upside down like so. And then I started folding these corners back in upon itself around the skewer and putting just a little bit of glue around it to help hold it in place. Since this is candy that's going to be eaten, I didn't figure it would matter how long it would stay on here. The next thing I did was I took two more squares. These are green, they're also five inches, and I did basically the same thing. I put a dollop of glue, pushed it down, and then I fold these back upon the center with just a little bit of glue like so. This gets very hot so be very careful working with the glue. I want this one to go this way. I'll put a little bit more glue in here and then I just start pushing it back in upon itself. And then I manipulate the blossoms up 
So there is the flour to start with. Now if you let it set for just a few moments, because the hot glue, if you use a low temp glue, it doesn't take very long, but you can see how that looks like, just a little flour. And then the next thing I do is I put very little glue in the center of this flour, and then I'm going to hot glue this Hershey's Kiss right there in the center, like so. Pull off all the strings. I made several of these up. Then the next thing I did is I had a vase. It was just a glass vase that I had around the house. I don't know how well, how close I am. Let me see if I can zoom out. This was just a glass vase that I already had, and I filled it with Hershey's Kisses. I wrapped some tulle around and some ribbon. And then I did not have any styrofoam to put down inside to poke these in so what I do is I took a piece of tissue and I put some packing peanuts inside wrapped it up in the center like so and then I used a rubber band which I've now lost here it is used a rubber band in the center like this and then I poked that down inside and that gave a little bit of color around the edge and it also gave me something to poke my sticks into. I did cut some of the sticks so you can see that some of them are longer than others and I didn't waste any of them so when I cut them with a pair of dykes if I wanted this one to be shorter I cut it like so and then I used a pencil sharpener to sharpen this so that I could use this other piece. There was no reason to waste any of the pieces. Okay, so now that is sharp and I can use it to make others. The other thing that I did was I took a piece of tissue paper and cut it in a long strip and I decided that I was going to need some leaves. So I took it and pinched it in the center. This is about eight inches long and I twisted it and folded it up, took another one, twisted it and folded it up and then what I did was I laid just a little bit of hot glue here. I took one of my sticks that was a little bit shorter and laid that on this side put a little more hot glue on this side and laid it on this side and this became some green foliage alright so now I'm quickly going to assemble this Is what it looks like very quick very easy I hope you'll like it please comment and subscribe have a good day bye